3.1a, One-Step Equations, the Addition Principle. A solution to an equation is the value for the variable or letter that makes the equation true. We can do anything to both sides of the equation, meaning we can add or take away or multiply or divide anything as long as we do it to both sides of the equation. This idea is because you must keep the equation balanced. The addition principle is that you can move a negative term, we do the opposite and we add it to both sides. So if there's a negative term on one side of an equation that I would like to move to the other side of the equation, I do the opposite and I add it to both sides. It is very important when solving equations to show all of your work. This is extremely important in ensuring that you do the steps properly. Example 1 shows the equation x minus 9 equals 4. Remember that an equation is something that has an equal sign in which both sides are equal to one another. Therefore, we have to do things to both sides to not upset this balance. Remember the addition principle said that if we would like to move a negative term, we could do so by adding it to both sides. When solving an equation, you are always trying to get the variable, in this case x, alone on one side of the equation. This means that I would like to move the negative 9. To do so, I do the opposite, and instead of negative 9, I add 9, to both sides. At this point, 9 plus 9 becomes 0. It is unnecessary to write x plus 0, so we just write x. Next, we have 4 plus 9, which gives us 13. Our solution, therefore, is x equals 13. You can always check your solution to see if it is valid by using the method we learned previously. This means that you would substitute the 13 for where the x value was, meaning that I would have x minus 9 equals 4. In that parentheses, I would put the number 13. I now have 13 minus 9, which is 4. And since 4 equals 4 is a true statement, I know that I did my steps properly. Next, we have another example in which the x is not alone and we would like to move a number from one side of the equation to the other. The number we would like to move is the negative 5. To do so, we do the opposite and we add 5 to both sides. On the first side, I have negative 3 plus 5. Remember, if signs are different, you therefore subtract, giving you 2, and you keep the sign of the larger number, which is 5. On the other side, negative 5 plus 5 becomes 0, which is unnecessary to be written. All that is left is a positive x, which we can simplify as just x. I now have the solution is x equals 2. I can check this solution by substituting it back in the problem. The problem is negative 3 equals negative 5 plus some number. I place my some number, which happens to be 2, in that spot. I then have negative 3 equals negative 3, which is a true statement telling me that the solution I found is correct. Remember when solving one-step equations that require the addition principle, 
but you must do it to both sides. Also, you may check your answer by using the substitution of plugging the number back into the original equation.